Welcome Aries. We are going to be looking at what it is that you need guidance with at this time using shadow healing, cosmic reading cards and Osho Zen Tarot. Alrighty Aries, let's get into it. Okay, shadow healing cards. Three cards for Aries please. Three cards for Aries. First one out, upside down. Second card for Aries. Oh, that's the second and third. Okay, Aries. Let's have a look. First card out here is frustration. Restart from the very beginning and scrap everything already tried. The answer to moving beyond this irritation will only be found in exploring new ideas. Okay. Next one is torment. Plaguing your thoughts with self-doubt only exasperates the problem further. First, make peace with yourself, and shortly thereafter, you will regain your confidence. Defeated. Down does not mean out. It just means taking a breather and rallying the energy to give it another go. Just do it differently next time, because the other way didn't work. Ah, okay, so obviously there's something that you need to approach from a different angle here. Okay, so let's look further into this. Frustration, two cards for Aries for frustration, please. Restart from the very beginning and scrap everything already tried. The answer to moving beyond this irritation will only be found by exploring new ideas. Yeah, I love that. Rather than sitting in it, because the thing is, I suppose, when you sit in it, right, it just creates more of that in your life because that's the energy that you're um, vibing with, I guess. So two cards for frustration for Aries, please. Two cards for Aries for frustration, please. Okay. <clears throat> We've got balance. Balance and move forward. Yeah, 100%. Like... Um, I think I think it really is kind of a matter of stepping back here um, with this balance card, right? Stepping back and seeing what it is um, that you can actually do to make things better for yourself, right? Um, being playful. When you're frustrated, I, I feel like it's important for you, Aries, to put that frustration aside and go and have some fun. Um, rather than, say, trying to get out of that energy, just change it altogether and stop focusing on it, come back to it later, bearing in mind of coming at it from a new perspective, okay? And in a sense, looking at what you can learn from the situation, even the little things that are frustrating you. What can you learn from these things, right? And then we have move forward here. This... This person here looks like they're quite stressed to me. And um, and I feel like there's maybe a sense for your areas of not being able to see things very clearly right now. Um, so I feel like this playfulness here, stepping back and going into that is going to help you come back to it with a fresh um, I, I put it this way it's sort of going to clean like give you a clean slate in a sense okay so move forward two cards for move forward for Aries please in regards to frustration yep okay so this first card here is mind and the dream okay okay this is where the frustration is right because you have a dream in mind and it's not working out the way that you want it to. It's not actually going um, potentially in the direction that you visualized it, right? And um, and it's like being all up in your head about it, right? But remember, Aries, about the pollution that you're creating within your vibration when you're in your head about those sorts of things, okay? Because these are the things that are very, very important for you to um, let go of. Uh, because that is not serving you whatsoever, not at all, okay? In fact, 
it's only causing you torment, right? So two cards for torment for Aries, please. Plaguing your thoughts with self-doubt only exasperates the problem further. First, make peace with yourself, and shortly thereafter, you will gain confidence. And I, I think going into this playfulness, Aries, is going to help you make peace with yourself here. Okay, um, it's going to help you to let go, all right, and it's going to help you to gain the strength that you need in order to move forward towards what it is that you would like to achieve and find another way around it, through it, under it, over it, whatever it takes. Okay, trying out different things. But when you're trying out different things, learning from those things that haven't worked out. It's kind of like trying to do the same thing over and over and expecting a res different result. It's not going to work. Okay, so let go. Two cards to let go for Aries, please. Love this. Okay, so Aries, you know, this is moment to moment, you know, because we talk about letting go and it's like, how do you let go? You know, you live moment to moment. You get into the present rather than holding on to the past or uh, projecting into the future, even though you have the dream, um, but you look at the moment, what's going on in the present moment, right? And you actually take that step by step and... Um, and release what it is that is weighing you down because suppressing uh, these negative emotions and suppressing what this torment and this frustration so that you can continue on building what you're building, it's not working. You've got to let it go, okay, because this is weighing quite heavy on you and I feel like there's a decision that needs to be made for you to um, stop carrying this burden, because it is holding you back, okay? And when you look at this here, it's just, it's kind of like this big entanglement of mess. And it's sort of like, how do you even begin to sort through that? You know, well, what you do is you just get into the now. And what's going on in the now? And you take it step by step by step, rather than looking at the overall picture and trying to see, okay, you know, because that's quite daunting, I think. Um, and I think it's just a matter of starting little bit by little bit, baby steps in a sense, okay? So strength. Two cards for strength for Aries, please. Thank you. Okay. The source, yep. Um, here's the thing, right, is getting the strength from the core of who you are um, because that that actually, when I, I look at this card, I feel like this is our inner self, right? We have this, this um, innate ability, or not even an ability, it's actually um, the innate essence of who we are, which is the source of ourselves, okay? Um, whether that be from source, however you want to see that. All right, but it is this that we can tap into to draw on the strength that we need, okay? Um, we also have projections coming up here. So I feel like there's this need to actually dig deep into yourself, okay? Yeah, okay, so there's a couple of things here, Aries, is digging deep into yourself so that you're not projecting anything onto other people, and um, in the sense of, well, if you had done this or you didn't do this um, and this is why this isn't working, um, whether this is in a relationship, in business, whatever it is, apply it how it fits for you, Aries. That, that's giving your power away, okay? You're, giving, you're handing your power over to someone else to say, you're in complete control of how my destiny pans out. And it's actually no one else's responsibility other than your own. So this is crucial for you to take responsibility for this Aries, okay? Um, so, you know, get to the source, get to the heart of the matter, okay? If there's anyone projecting onto you, 
make sure you don't take anything on board. Sure, you know, there's a difference between critiques and criticism, okay, and people projecting their own um, inner fears, inner worries, um, their own torment and frustration onto you uh, and you know make sure that you're taking responsibility only for what you're responsible for and be honest with yourself about that you know because sometimes people can say something to us and while it might be a projection sometimes we can look at it and go well actually that might not be too far from the truth right so I think it's very important for you to be completely and utterly honest with yourself and that takes courage and it takes strength but that is strength and courage that you do actually have within you, Aries. Okay, so the next card here is Defeated. Okay, so two cards for Defeated for Aries, please. Down does not mean out. It just means taking a breather and rallying the energy to give it another go. Do it differently next time because the other way didn't work. Got the first card pop out here, which is gratitude. I love that, Aries. And this is it, you know. Um, even if things aren't working or haven't worked, be grateful. Be grateful because now you get to explore potentially another way that will be successful okay let me just pick this card up so I think it's very important for you not to let the defeat weigh you down okay and take you out okay um, it just means that you have to rise up again and continue forward okay letting go of whatever arises in you um, that this defeat has caused and, and it's a great opportunity for you, Aries, to look at um, it, particularly emotions associated with this defeat, with this frustration, with this torment, right? Um, because I guarantee you that those, you know, those emotions, it will not be the first time that you've actually felt those. So maybe um, it's an opportunity to heal some past um, hurts, potentially, um, that have occurred for you so that if you're ever in a situation again where things are not working out it's easier for you to combat that okay so two cards for gratitude for Aries please two cards for gratitude for Aries thank you okay just turn these other cards flipped but they didn't jump Okay, so yeah, look at this. Rebirth and traveling. Yeah, I like this. This is you starting on another path, okay? Um, definitely, as, as we've spoken about here today, finding a new way to do things, okay? Getting excited about the rebirth rather than feeling like it's a failure. I think there's, you know, different ways that you can approach this, right? You can look at what hasn't worked out as, oh my God, I failed. I'm so crap. Like I'm, you know, I should have done better, blah, blah, blah. Um, or you can look at it and go, okay, it didn't work out. Why didn't it work out? What can I learn for that? And what can I do differently next time? Okay, there's it's I think it's important for you to learn right now to use this as a uh, as a tool to empower yourself okay rather than letting it drag you down because ultimately you don't deserve to be dragged down by that and at the end of the day we end up being the ones that drag ourselves down okay if there's anyone dragging you down about it I would seriously assess um, their role in your life but also, I think um, it's up to you what you take on board and what you don't. Which, yes, can be easier said than done. But it's a good opportunity for you to believe in yourself. You know, and stand in that power and go, so what? You know, so yeah, this is really good. Awaken. Awaken to yourself. 
awaken to what the possibilities are and what it is that you can actually achieve. Because you look at any success, successful person in the world, they didn't get it straight off the bat. They had to work at it. They had to learn from their mistakes. They had more failures than what they did success. And it took them, you know, a lot. Even, um, you know, look, you look at um, athletes. It takes them hours and hours and hours of training and dedication. You know, they don't just go out on the field straight away and bam, Bob's your uncle, there they are. Um, they, they work hard and they apply themselves and they focus, right? And this is something that I feel like is important for you to look at here, Aries. Um, and absolutely, I feel like there's this 360 degree turn that you can do and go, whoa, I can actually do this, you know? So yeah, awaken, awaken to the possibilities and awaken to your ability to actually make this happen for yourself and the power that you have, the control that you have over your entire life and existence, okay? So excellent, yep. <clears throat> so slowing down, okay, Aries, slowing down, um, to let the sorrow be released, to let things go that do not serve you, all right? Slowing down to view things objectively and um, and making sure that as you proceed forward that um, each step is, um, is a conscious step, okay? Because sometimes we can get an idea, we get really excited about it, and we rush into it and we don't consider everything that needs to be accounted for okay um it's a little bit like the the turtle here going to water it's almost as though he's been on land for so long and he sees the water and it's like rushing in but it's like hang on a minute you know what what is you know there's a lot of things that he needs to take into consideration you know building the right muscles up to swim in the water Checking out for predators in the water, you know, dabbling the feet in the water, like not just diving in the deep end, okay? Because what can happen is the sorrow that hasn't been dealt with can then come along and drown you. And so, um, yeah, I feel like in this new beginning, because this awaken here is a new beginning, <clears throat> it's important to do that with a lighter load. Okay, Aries. Yeah, that's about it. Um, so yeah, I'll leave that with you. Please take care of your beautiful selves. See you. Bye-bye.